Hello guys, Ravika here. Today I am doing a rather simple little piece, a portrait. Well, surprise there. Uh, but today I'm not doing my usual render and high detail. I'm doing a soft line art piece. Um, I like doing line arts, they're very relaxing. Uh, and I tend to be less stressed about the blending and a little more so a line art piece is always a nice relaxing break from those uh, commissions and bigger and more blended portraits that I tend to do so especially this one is a break from a very 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 detailed commission so I don't have anything specific to talk about today so I thought that I was just chat a little bit about what I'm doing and my art product process or whatever's probably in my head today. <laughs> um, I'm using a, a brush that is a little bit textured but it's pretty much it's slightly more painterly brush than a standard round brush but not far really and I could do a bit of standard round brush so don't think that the brush is making the art <laughs> it's not um but i know the feeling if you do because i tend to look at artists and think like oh i want that brush really really bad it's beautiful and then i get the brush and i don't understand it and i don't know how to use it and you know, i can't make the same art anyway <laughs> so it's not the brush it's you can do this with a standard round one from photoshop or whatever program you're using um, but I like that it has a little bit more texture it feels a little bit more like drawing with a pen or something like that uh, but still digital um, and today I am doing a draw this in your style challenge and I'm gonna pop an image up here <laughs> because I don't want to butcher the name of the person who listed the original challenge so as you can see here um, it's quite different in style from, from what I'm doing but I think that's part of the fun of doing a draw this in your style um, I really like picking those that are really really far from my personal style because it makes it easier to stay true to myself instead of tr incidentally copying uh, the original piece. And I do feel like sometimes if this, our style is too close, uh, just by looking at the piece, you, you kind of incidentally copy stuff without actually wanting to. So it's really, really fun trying to look at a piece that is so different from what you do yourself and try to read it and see what elements are there and then interpret it into your own thing and uh, that's what i'm trying to do here the skin on the original piece is pretty much white with a little bit of pinkish blush um but i wanted to have a natural more natural skin tone uh, she's going to end up pretty light, but still pretty natural. So I do take a few liberties with the design. <laughs> but yeah, I really like doing these challenges. I've been doing them a lot lately and I plan on doing a lot more. <laughs> uh, I'm also thinking about doing my own Draw This In Your Style challenge. Putting up my own piece that you guys can try and take your um interpret your own way if that might interest you guys so if you're into that or, or want me to do a piece like that please let me know and i will try and think up something clever <laughs> um but yeah i'm just really relaxed today is just about 9 30 in the morning here been drawing a, about one and a half hour and then editing this video and just enjoying my mornings these days and waiting for the whatever 
dim sunlight we might get today so I can go in the studio and film my bullet journal setup. Yes, I'm going to do bullet journaling this year. Yay! Um, I got really, really beautiful journal. I've been sketching a little bit and uh, I need to set up the video and actually fill it out with some paint. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that video later this week. Um, if you guys have questions to my way of painting or whatever, feel free to ask them and I'll do my very best to answer. It's a bit difficult to know exactly what actually to tell you guys because I'm not the only one doing deals and art on the internet and I feel like a lot of info is already out there. So, But I would be happy to answer whatever questions that might be out there. Uh, also, if you have ideas for topics to talk about <laughs> in this video, please rescue me and tell me. Uh, it's really, really hard to come up with topics. So, I'm, uh, well, doing some low-key rendering and highlights on this piece. It's not my usual rendering. I'm keeping it rather loose and with some painterly strokes in there. And I think that's one of the liberties you can take with line art. Also, this pattern on, on her kimono or whatever she's wearing is like super hard to do, right? Um, <laughs> nice and relaxing. So anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. Have fun. Be safe. Bye.